We've all seen encampments like these on the streets of Denver. There are an unprecedented number of people sleeping on our streets. Now homeless advocates want you to reimagine what the camps could look like. It's hard uh, to trust something that you haven't seen work. In a church parking lot in Capitol Hill, the Colorado Village Collaborative set up a mock camp. So we wanted to provide an opportunity for people to see it, to experience it for themselves, and to dispel some of the myths and concerns that surround this model. The concept of safe camping spots has been discussed a lot this year, often met by people who support the idea but just don't want it in their neighborhood. If we can sway the needle just a little bit to show this is not what you see every day. Quica Montoya is with the Colorado Village Collaborative. She says the new spaces would have up to 50 tents grouped together in an area where people experiencing homelessness could have access to bathrooms, cots, and health services. She's trying to convince people it won't look like the camps you see on the street now. What it is is uh, providing a space that is access to full sanitation. Among the services provided would be showers and laundry. Jennifer Kloppel plans to drive her trailer around to the different sites seven days a week. When you provide access to clean clothes and clean bodies, it opens doors to lots of other opportunities, jobs, help. With the number of people living on the streets growing this year with the pandemic, Housing is a human right. Everybody needs housing in order to thrive. The challenge now is convincing people this is the answer to the problem. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. Homeless advocates say there are more than 1,000 people living on the streets of Denver, and that number is rising. The group hopes to convince the mayor to approve at least three of these locations for the safe outdoor spaces uh, in the near future. Hopefully, the mock camp will be open to the public if you'd like to take a look all weekend.